Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got another video here for you today. This is the best sentence video in Call of Duty Warzone with the new Season 1 Vanguard DLC. This is all the different settings that you can use in the game that will make the game run a lot better. In my opinion, this isn't facts. I mean, this is everything that's worked for me. I'm hoping it helps you in any way, shape or form. If it does, leave a like, rate and subscribe down below. Don't forget to check out any other videos we've done in the past and leave them a like rating. And here we go. Starting off, you want to select, obviously, the monitor that you have got. Um... And then obviously the refresh rate, make sure all them are right. Um, V-Sync, I use that as off. Um, same with V-Sync menus, turn that off as well, should help out. Uh, frame rate, make sure this is under, uh, unlimited, show more. Obviously you don't need to edit any of these, I don't edit any of them. Aspect ratio, um, I do as automatic, just do, it's just the way I always have done. Brightness, the brightness. Make this middle one for you, it's barely visible. For me, it's barely visible. 55, perfect. Right, next, here we go. Keep going. So, display gamma, I have it on 2.2 SRGB. Make sure that it's left on that one. Focused mode is on off. Show more, obviously you don't need to edit that one either. And make sure you've got your obviously display card um, just set up properly. Then quality, you wanna come under here. Change this to custom. So we're going to be setting this all up myself. So render resolution, make sure that's at 100. Dynamic resolution, turn that as off. It helps with frames and FPS and things. Texture resolution, make sure that's on low. Texture filter, make sure that's on high. Particle quality level, make sure that's on high. Um, particle resolution, I put that on low. Bullet impact and sprays. I put that on just because it makes it look a bit better. Um, shader quality, I put that on low. Um, put this on, put next one on long. Then, yeah, by detail on high. Next one, high. Next one, high. Uh, long distance, draw distance. Um, quality level, put that on low. Uh, screen shadow, I mean, yeah, screen shadows. Um, turn that off. Um, shadow map resolution. Put that on medium. Sun shadows. Put that on low. Uh, cache. Put that on. Keep that on. Low, low, low. Put that off. I'm just going to quickly go through these, and you can actually see what I've got on. I'll leave it on the screen for every few minutes, and you can understand what I use on Call of Duty. It just helps out. It it, it should increase your FPSs. By quite a substantial amount. Did it for me. I'm hoping it'll do it for you. Right, let's just make sure that VRAM as well. You've got to make sure there's VRAM usage. Um, normally I keep it at 85%. Some people can do it 90, but I like to keep it at 85 just in case. Um, gameplay, this is also another thing. This will make your Call of Duty look a little bit better. Just a quick extra tip for you. So on color customization, I have it on filter 2. We have color filter target on world. We have the HUD as default. I use my own color scheme for the mini maps. So obviously, um, I have the next yellow, next blue, next purple. Yeah, we just I've changed it for my own personal preference. Field of view, obviously, is a 110 for me. Uh, I find that a bit better. Affected on um, ADS um, camera movement. Put that on the least. Um, and Nvidia reflex low latency. I put it as on boost. It seems to help me out a lot more. Um, so yes. Um, if anyone wants to see my audios, these are my audio levels. This is just the way I use it and things. Um, yes. Other than that, that should be everything. Very quick video. I went through, showed you a few of the settings. Um, if it has helped you in any way, shape, or form, and it has increased those FPS, don't forget, leave a like rating, subscribe if you haven't already, because there's going to be plenty of content like this coming to the channel. I've got plenty of new uh, content coming in in the next few weeks. Um, we obviously had already uploaded a few of our other um, series that's already started. The FMF, the full-time FM series has officially started now. 
Um, and we're now, we're now another step closer to Christmas. What more could you want? Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.